The ratings are in. Okay, before I get into the ratings and what it's looking like, it's not looking good for the Oscars. But uh, it says on the analytics for this channel that 86% of people that watch these videos are not subscribed. And I get that. I totally get that. But the button is just right down there. And if you subscribe, it helps push the videos out to even more and more people. So if you could do that, I would highly, highly appreciate it. But the ratings have come out for this year's oscars if you remember last year was the lowest of all time at like the best time the oscars were getting something like 55 million views that is close to super bowl numbers and that yeah, there was a time the oscars have always been you know everyone's everyone's complained about the politics and all that stuff but there was a time when the oscars were a huge cultural pillar everyone was talking about it it was part of the cultural conversation for a large part of the year between you know, September and February, you would get the incredible movies and everyone kind of had a sense of that. Everyone had a sense of, you know, Christmas times when the awesome stuff comes out because the Oscars are coming up and did you see what's nominated? And everyone would be like, no, I got to see that, got to see that. It was a big deal whenever Scorsese got the Oscar for Best Director. That was a huge deal. And everyone knew it was a huge deal because they knew he'd been nominated so many times before and he deserved to get it. Like, you know, it... It, it, it's it's foolhardy the people that say that the Oscars have never cared. Oh, I've never cared about the Oscars. I by fifty year old people say that all the time. Like, okay, well then you didn't you didn't care. I'm not huge into sports, but I'm not going to pretend like I'm you know important because I don't pay attention to sports very much. Like it's still there. It still obviously existed at some point. It'd be great if it did again. The way it is right now clearly uh, is not the case. And the best way to tell that is that. The awards were seen by 10 million people last year. So before going into this year's, I had said that, I, and yeah, I'm not even kidding. I had said that I thought that it was going to be 15 million viewers. And that is literally so far, and I think we might be getting some more numbers tomorrow, but I don't think it's going to account for that much. Um, the numbers right now that have come out from ABC is that it was 15 million. We got 15 million views it is the, they said it's a 52% increase from the lowest year of all time, making this the second lowest watched year of all time. Now, I, I had said that I thought it was going to be 15 million people because it was a terrible year last year. The, the movies that came out were so crappy. Uh, there was so much virtue signaling. It was so annoying the way that, it was so annoying the way that people were talking about those movies that were coming out that no one, no one cared. Everyone had better things to do. So no, nobody watched, nobody cared at all. Um, this is not reason to celebrate. I had also said that I think a move in the right direction, not good, a move in the right direction would be 25 million. If we get 25 million people to watch, that means that people really are interested in what's going on, and you can at least grow on that. Now, you could still grow on this, but honestly, 15 million people is not a lot of people. That is not a lot of people by any stretch of the imagination. Look back the way that it was going. In 2014, we had 43, and I have a whole, this is the thing I did about, about Moonlight. In 2014, we had 43 million viewers. 2015, 37 million. 16, 34 million. 17, 32 million. 18, 26. 19, 29 million. 2020, 23 million. In 2021, 10 million people. Um, my theory about how you get people back, there's I don't think you're going to get people to watch on the night. Like If you want people to watch in 2023, you have got to make the 2022 show so good that everyone afterwards is talking about what the hell happened that night. And everyone that missed it's like, well, shit, I can't miss it next year. Now, the Will Smith thing, I think, is the wrong way to go about doing that because that kind of just poisons the Oscars. But I think the good way to do that is you give it to something like Dune. Spider-Man wasn't nominated, but give it to something like Spider-Man. Make it so that the day, the week, the month after, people feel bad that they weren't watching that night because they're actually honoring things that people actually care about. I hate the way that people talk about that people only want for dumb, big movies to win, but then you just nominate and you just give the award to the smallest movie that's on the roster. Like, people care. Like, I... Honestly, no, most people haven't even seen Coda. Like, that, that is such a nothing. I know that Will Smith is the biggest story, but if Dune had won, that would at least kind of at least be at the halfway point that's like, hey, Dune won. That's pretty cool. Maybe, you know, hey, that's that's at least something that everyone's talking about. Maybe not as much as Will Smith. But I, this, I, honestly, yeah, it was. It was to be, I'm going to call it. I predicted that. It, it is to, 15 million is to be expected. This is not very good. Um, it, it's better than last year, but it was. I, I thought it was always going to be better than last year. Um, I, I don't think this is a move in a great direction. And honestly, now I'm, I'm interested to see what the numbers will be next year if there is a next year. Because what Will Smith did, I, I think that if they had not, if they had given it to Dune or Spider Man, I would have been very excited for the good numbers that I thought that would have brought. 
This, I think this is going to be terrible. Like, I, I think this throws so much credibility out the window about what the Oscars are about. I don't ever want to hear anyone say that these awards are just about awarding art. Like, y- you can't have something like this happen and then say that you're just awarding art. So give me your thoughts on what you think these ratings mean. Um, and yeah, be sure to share the video, like the video, and subscribe to 5-Minute Critic for future updates on reviews and movie news.